So this is how our face mesh looks like and you can see it's uh, pretty good, it's pretty accurate and it's real time. You can see if I blink my eyes it blinks it and if I move my eyebrows uh, it moves and the lips are also uh, accurately detected. And if I move my head it's, it's pretty accurate. Today we are going to make facial landmark detection which detects 468 landmarks on your faces in real time. We are going to use media pipe API for this. Now this facial landmark detection is used uh, for augmented reality applications. Uh, for example, if you want to, for example, you must have seen those filters that puts a mask or a glasses or an object on your face. So you can, so those application uses facial landmark recognition because they detect the landmark on your face. So this is going to be a bit exciting now about media pipe. It has bunch of solutions or applications out there. Uh, some of them are iris detection, which detects the eyeball or iris of our eyes, hands detection, which detects our five fingers, uh, post posture detection, which detects the entire posture of a human body. Uh, and there is something called a holistic detection, which basically detects the posture plus hands plus face all in one. I will link down this documentation in the description box and you will also find the code and you will also find the complete code that we are going to do in this video down in the description box as well. So all these bunch of applications uh, you can implement it using media pipe. Now they, they are pre-trained models that uh, that they are offering as an API so which we can directly use this API in our application. If you know uh, if you know how to implement any one of this you can implement rest all exactly the same way so today we are going to implement this face mesh one so i hope you stick till the end of the video and let's get started to use media pipe you will have to install it using pip install the command is pip install media pipe so go ahead and do that i have already it i already have it installed on my pc now media pipe by default installs OpenCV. Uh, OpenCV is a computer vision library for Python, which is very, very useful uh, for any computer vision task. So let's import our libraries. We will start with importing OpenCV, which is uh, imported using CV2. And then we will import media pipe. So assuming it's imported successfully on your side as well, the first step that we are going to do is we are going to learn how we can capture a video frame using OpenCV. Now, once we have learned how to uh, now once we have learned how to capture video frames using OpenCV, what we are going to do is that we are going to pass those images captured in a video frame to MediaPipe API, and MediaPipe API will detect the facial landmarks on those images, and then we will use some drawing utensils. Uh, to draw a mesh around our face and all this will become real time in a video frame. So first step, let's see how we can capture video frame using OpenCV. So for that we write cap equals to cv2 dot video capture. And here we specify the camera number. Uh, for a webcam, it is zero. Uh, but if I had, uh, let's suppose, external cameras installed, then I will need to specify one or two, depending on the camera position or camera index, right? But I'm going to capture a webcam, so I'm going to use a zero. Then we write while cap dot is opened. success and image equals to cap dot read so cap dot read will read the images from the camera and uh, those uh, images that are read are will be stored into this variable name image and if it is unsuccessful then this variable success will be false so i can just write if not success break now this cap dot read will read 30 images per second. Uh, we just have to display these images. So that is done by cv2 dot im show. And then uh, we can pass a name like uh, my video capture. And pass the image. Now this will capture the images, but that window now, but we'll also have to add a functionality to uh, remove or exit from that capturing mode. So for that we write if cv2 dot 
पेट की इक्वल इक्वल्स ऑर्डर ऑफ क्यू सो हियर वी आर स्पेसिफाइंग दैट इफ आई प्रेस की क्यू फॉर 100 हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड देन यू शुड ब्रेक फ्रॉम दिस वायल लूप and once we have broken from the uh, once we are out of that while loop uh, we need to write cap dot release uh, which will release the camera that it was using and cv2 dot destroy all windows that was used for displaying the video all right so let's run this i'm going to switch off my this camera so that i can test my so i can test my code right here so you can see that we have this window which says my video capture which was the text that we wrote here and we are successfully capturing the video but you can see that if i am moving my head this side it is moving on the opposite direction so i don't want that so for that what i'm going to write is i'm going to flip this image flip this image and i will specify the axis i want to flip it i want to flip it like this that's why the index for that is 1 and also i had attached an another camera on my computer so zero was not my webcam so i have changed it to 1 because my webcam has now become 1 so just to letting you know that all right so let's run this again and if i press q it will and if i press q then it will exit so let's run this flipped image again right so now it is flipped now if i'm moving this side then it is also moving this side so our video capture is successful now it's time to add the face mesh all right and also if for some reason if if it if it does not exit the window on your side you can specify end 0x ff so specifying this make sure that different keyboards your keyboard might have numpad or some other type of configuration so specifying this makes sure that if you press q despite of the settings it will exit it so if it doesn't work for you you can just specify this all right so now it's time to use media pipe api now we want to use the face mesh api right so we need to call it first so i'm going to call i'm going to make this write this variable name as uh, mp face mesh so we need to go to mp then we need to let me zoom in a bit so here uh, we need to call uh, mp dot solutions so here you saw that there were many solutions right here right and we want to and from and from all these solutions we want face mesh solution so we need to write mp dot solutions dot face mesh right and to use this face mesh we can write with mp face mesh dot face mesh as face mesh so now with this variable we can use this face mesh api now this face mesh api takes couple of arguments first is num max num of max number of faces so i will specify that as one because i don't want to capture more than one faces then i will keep refined refined landmarks equals true then other arguments are min detection confidence uh, i will keep it as 0.5 and min tracking confidence so this make sure that uh, it will capture the landmark and it will tell us that this is the landmark if it if the model is more than 50% confident so if you want to use this api uh, if you want to use this face mesh we will need to use it inside this with statement so i'm going to shift all this by tab so here we have our face mesh api and here we have image we just need to pass our image to this api i'm going to call the, it as a results which will be the final obtained solution which will be the output from the media pipe 
and I'm going to write process image. So it will process this image, capture all those landmarks in those image and it will return the results. Now inside this results, we will have our uh, list of landmarks. So if you, so if you iterate over this results, you can add face landmarks in results dot multi face landmarks. And if you print face landmarks, So you, uh, here you can see those landmark coordinates are captured. So these are X, Y and Z coordinates that are captured from our image. Okay, so landmarks are captured. Now it's time to draw those landmarks on our faces and display them. So let's draw those landmarks. Um, MediaPipe also provides some drawing utils that help us to directly draw the complete mesh around our face. So we are going to use those drawing utils to draw a mesh around our face. So I will import those drawing utils up here. And those drawing utils are again uh, available in mp.solutions under drawing utils. Then we need drawing styles that can be obtained by mp.solutions drawing styles. Alright, so these are these are the two things that we needed. So once we have them, also just make sure you write this here. So once we have them, I can specify MP drawing dot draw landmarks. And it takes bunch of argument. First is image. We specify image equals to image because we want to draw uh, those in onto this image. Then the second argument is landmark list. Here we specify the landmark list. So the landmark list is this these landmarks. So it will draw these landmarks on our image. So these landmark list is nothing but face landmarks. Third argument is connections. Here I, I need to specify what kind of drawing do I want. Uh, so for example, if I specify that I, if, for example, if I want a complete mesh like a tessellation, it's called a tessellation, then I can, I can draw the, that tessellation with MP face mesh dot face mesh underscore tessellation. And then we also need to specify another two arguments that's landmark drawing specification uh, you should specify this as none and then connection drawing specification so here we specify the style that we want so here we will use my drawing style that we made right here Now I will show you how you can change and write your own style but uh, if you want to use the uh, default style that is available that is given by MediaPipe then the default style can be obtained by get default face mesh tessellation styles sorry it's style and that's it if I run this now you will see a mesh around my face so you can see this cool uh, mesh or tessellation on my face and this is real time as I speak it is moving and the landmarks are detected well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an outline to the face, lips, eyes and eyebrows. So let's draw those outline. The outline can be drawn with the help of contour. So the way we specified tessellation we can draw contours. So I can uh, change this style to contours and also, and also this face mesh tessellation will become contour. Alright, so let us let me run this. So you can see it has drawn the outline but this kind of looks uh, really funny, right? 
so i want to show you now how you can uh, how you can specify your own style for example your own border thickness and own your own color right so let's do that so if you want to draw according to your own style you can comment this line and instead of mp drawing styles uh, you can specify your own style by uh, by defining our own variable like my drawing specs which will be equal to mp drawing dot drawing specs and here you can specify color uh, the color takes an rgb value so let's say if you want green then you can specify 0 to 55 0 so this will be a green color then you can specify thickness as uh, specify thickness as 1 and and i can tell media pipe that use this drawing specification instead of your default one so instead of this mp drawing styles i just need to replace this variable with my drawing specs all right and let's test it so what happened here is that i shot the rest part of this video but after a few days i realized that i didn't hit the record button so i lost that clip and then i moved to a different city and then got a little bit busy so i couldn't reshoot the this part of the video before so i'm shooting this again after almost three months so i hope you do find this video helpful and if you do please do hit the uh, red subscribe button and let's see how our face mesh looks like so this is how our face mesh looks like and you can see it's uh, pretty good it's pretty accurate and it's real time you can see if i blink my eyes it blinks it and if i move my eyebrows uh, it moves and the lips are also uh, accurately detected and if i move my head it's it's pretty accurate so let me know how did you like this video down in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then do hit the like button do hit the red subscribe button and also let me know what kind of videos do you want me to make and i know i didn't make a video since a long time but i uh, it's because i started a new job and got a little bit busy and i will do my best to keep uploading more videos so do stay tuned and let me know what do you think about this video and let me know if you have any suggestions that's it from this video i will see you in the next one